Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can change a MIDI input range from a controller to a different output range. This is typically called scaling. This is an actual case from a user where he wanted the input range to be from 0 to 127 and change that to an output range of 20 to 90. I've had this type of request several times from the users in our Q&A website. To start, first you determine the input range, in this case 0 to 127, which is going to be 128, and you call it A. Then you determine the output range, in this case it's 20 to 90, or a range of 71, and you call that B. If there is an offset, as there is here, you call it C. In this case, since the output range starts with 20 and not 0, 20 is the offset. The actual formula that you use is shown here. Here is how we depict the formula within Bone MIDI Translator. Please keep in mind that you should always apply multiplication before division in Bone MIDI Translator Pro to ensure you maintain integer accuracy. Now let's go ahead and create our project and we'll just call it scaling. We'll uh, first define our input port. In this case I'll use my World Easy controller since it has a controller that I want and I'll use the virtual port out. And we'll add our one translator that we're going to use for this. We'll call it scale uh, CC. We'll create the incoming message that we're looking for. In this case we're going to be uh, we'll just capture a MIDI message from my controller so I don't have to remember and I just click on that. So it's CC14 that we're going to be using. And we'll set PP to the value. So here you can see that uh, we're setting PP to the value of the input message on controller 14. Then we're going to go to the output message and we're going to use the same controller and the same channel and we're going to be altering the value of PP. So we want to make sure that uh, the output uh, value in this case uh, let's first of all make sure we got the right controller number 14 and in, in this case we're going to alter the value of PP and the output value will be QQ so we set that to QQ here and now I'll go to the rules and we'll go ahead and insert the rules that we had defined earlier so first we multiply by the output range and then we divide by the input range and then we add the offset. First we open the log window and make sure that we're going to look at incoming and outgoing. Uh, I'm going to crank the controller and right now I've got it at the minimum value which is 0 on input and 20 on output and let's crank it all the way in the other direction which is 127 on input and a value of 90 on output. I'd like to thank you for watching again today and hopefully you got something out of this. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at www.bohm.com.